Have you ever been craving ice cream but didn't have any in your freezer? Well, today's your lucky day. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade, homemade ice cream with just some ingredients you can find laying around your house. I'll tell you the materials or ingredients you need to make it, the step-by-step -step process, and then how this is beneficial to you. And it's also a great workout, which we will find out soon. The first thing we will mix into are the ingredients. Ingredients needed are one cup of milk. So I'm going to pour this milk. Then you need two tablespoons of sugar, which is going to go into this bag. So I have this little thing that counts tablespoons for you. So here's one. And two tablespoons. And then we need half of a tablespoon of vanilla, which also goes in with the sugar and the milk. We'll put that in that bag. And then the ice, you need two cups or half of a bag full. So this is a little more than two cups, but it's about half of the bag. And then the rock salt, you'll need a fourth of a cup of it, but I'll do that when it gets closer. Then you need a gallon bag, which is right here, but the ice is already prepared in that. Uh, the ingredient I'm making right now is for one to two servings, so you can, depending on who like you're feeding the ice cream to, you can double it or always cut it in half. After all your ingredients are ready, you are ready to begin the steps. Step one, you will pour the milk, sugar, and vanilla into the small quart size bag. Then you will seal this and make sure there's no air in it. And you also want to mix it up so the, so the sugar starts dissolving. <coughs> and if you get a leak in your bag, you can also grab a different bag and dump your product into it. There we go. Okay, so then we're going to seal this back up. And we'll mix this around. And then for this, we're going to take the fourth cup of rock salt and dump it into the ice. So here I just have more in rock salt you can find in the grocery store. So we have about a fourth of a cup of that. And then... We're going to take this bag and put it inside of this bag. And then you take this and you basically just slosh this bag back and forth. You can slide it on the countertop too, or you can just put it in your hands. And your hands might get cold while doing it, so there's here's a towel to wrap around it if you need that. Um, this should take up about to 10 to 15 minutes to get the right thickness. Um, after ice cream looks or it feels thick, you can take it out of the bigger bag and rinse it off. So after this looks thick, you can take it out of the bag and wipe it off to get the salt off the bag. Otherwise, your ice cream might taste really salty when you're getting it. So then after that, this is like your final product. After we've shaped, shook it for 10 minutes, and then it should be hard like this, kind of like ice cream should be. And, um, okay, so now your arms might be aching, but that just means you got a great workout and you really earned that delicious ice cream that you're about to eat. This is very beneficial to you and our society because it's cheap. Most of these things you can find in your kitchen or laying around when you need a stress eating. It also is saving you money on buying an ice cream machine or even a tub of ice cream that could be possibly $6. Ice cream can also be a great source of vitamins. So overall today, I showed you the ingredients to make ice cream, the step-by-step -step process, and how cheap it is. If you like a variety of different types of ice cream, you can even add syrup into the, into the sugar, vanilla, and milk. You can add like uh, strawberry syrup, syrup, chocolate syrup, stuff like that. 
Now, next time you're craving ice cream, I hope you remember these quick and easy steps for success.